Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get it all done with me and I'm also sharing with you a grocery haul and what I eat on Weight Watchers, giving you some ideas for feeding your family while on Weight Watchers. And I'm also going to share with you separating out the meat with a video to follow on all of the recipes from these groceries, so stay tuned. Hi you guys, like I said, today we're doing a clean with me video. This is a very real life version of my cleaning videos and I share with you my Walmart grocery haul because I had a lot of requests for what I would get at Walmart. So my grocery haul today is a $300 grocery haul. It's quite large and it's for about two to three weeks of meals for myself along with the kids and Mike. So it's for our entire family and is Weight Watchers friendly. And I'm excited to share with you all of the recipes that I come up with from this grocery haul. So stay tuned for that video coming at you in the next couple of weeks as well. Yes, nap, say hi, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> That's so cute. Say, I'm going to go take a nap and nai nai. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. So sharing with you a little bit of my daily cleaning routine, just my typical tidy up after every single meal. I'll clean up the counters and then I will sweep out from under the kids' chairs. I usually do dishes about once a day. I did not do the dishes the day before this, which is why the sink is already full this morning here. But I wanted to also mention, so in regards to my grocery haul, I wanted to give you some tips as to how I personally grocery shop. I will go onto Pinterest and I will find my meals that I want to do. So if you guys are new here, I've been doing Weight Watchers for a little bit now and I've had quite a bit of success with it. I've also done keto in the past and I've done low carb in the past. This Weight Watchers diet has been working super well for me. I've been combining it with an anti-inflammatory diet gluten-free, I try to stay away from beans, etc., um, and processed foods, we try to eliminate all of that as much as we possibly can. And it has been working wonders, I will tell you that, like 12 pounds down so far, I'm super happy with it. But what I'll do is I'll go onto Pinterest, I'll find some Weight Watchers recipes that I want to try out, I'll write down my meal list for the next two weeks, and then I will make my grocery list based off of that meal list. I'll make breakfasts, lunches, snacks and dinners on there. I'll make sure that everything is on there and then along with the staples that we need in our house. So you know loaves of bread for the kids because I do still keep bread on hand for the kids as well as whole milk for Riker, butter, just typical staple pantry and fridge items. I will add to that list too. So like I said my haul today is $300 worth and that will last us about three weeks. So just a little bit to give you an idea as to how I make my grocery lists, how I budget for the month as far as groceries, and we also try to limit our out to eat. If I have more groceries in the house, we are less likely to go out to eat. So anyways, excited to share that grocery haul with you guys today. Okay, I am behind this entire massive ocean of groceries. Don't mind my dishes in the background. You guys know that I always have dishes in the background because our dishwasher is not working correctly. So, anywho, this is the haul. $300 worth of groceries, so much, you guys. I would say that this might even last us closer to three weeks, um, which would be super awesome. At the, at the about two week mark, I'll have to refill on some of my produce items, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom you in and I'm gonna go through these items one by one quickly to show you what I got. All right, so I'm gonna go through the meat first and as I go through it, I'm going to put it behind me. Um, I just got some beef hot dogs for the kids. This is a super easy lunch. I mean, who doesn't have hot dogs on hand? Um, one of my other meals that I have on this list is um, homemade pizzas. 
So to go with the homemade pizzas, I got turkey pepperoni instead of regular pepperoni. Um, and then I also got, then I also got some turkey sausage to go on um, another pizza. Chicken breast tenderloins because I'm gonna do like a um, cauliflower rice garlic butter chicken with some parsley. It looked so good on Pinterest. So I wanted to give it a shot and I love chicken tenderloins. This is going to have to be separated out because it'll be about two to three meals for my family of four. The next thing that I got are chicken thighs. Um, chicken thighs, I love to use these in burrito bowls. Um, I kind of talked about that in one of my previous videos. Chicken thighs are a staple here at our house. So this will be about uh, two to three meals as well. Um, and I'm gonna have to separate this out. We have a ton of chicken drummies that I got from Costco last time in the freezer. So that will be another meal. Actually, I've got like three meals worth of chicken drummies in the freezer. Next thing that I got, I usually don't get my steak from Walmart, um, but I was pretty impressed with their prices. Um, I just got a top sirloin steak. Um, and this, we're gonna cut it up into like um, chunks and then we're gonna do like a sherry vinegar over the top. It's gonna be super yummy. Um, and then you serve it on the side with like potatoes and green beans. And this is more of like a HelloFresh type of recipe that my sister gave me, um, but super yummy. And this will last us up two meals. Hang on with the meat. I've got two packages of uncured turkey bacon. Sam's Choice is my favorite turkey bacon that I've tried so far. Um, it's turkey thigh meat chopped and formed, no nitrates or nitrites added. I got um, two things of ground turkey, one for um, tacos and then the other one will be for a zucchini noodle spaghetti. I tried to order a spaghetti squash but they're not in season and they didn't have any in stock at Walmart. So we're gonna do a zucchini noodle spaghetti instead. I just use a spiralizer that I got off of Amazon for like, I wanna say it was like less than $10 and then I can make zucchini noodles from that spiralizer. Then I also got two bags of frozen shrimp. One meal is gonna be for shrimp tacos. Like I said, I like to do a creamy sriracha sauce for shrimp tacos. Um, and then the other one will probably just be like a sauteed shrimp for dinner one night. I got a huge bag of tilapia fillets. Um, these are skinless and boneless. I am very picky about my tilapia, but we had family in town very recently and they made the best tilapia. So I got a big bag of this so we could try a couple different recipes, like a blackened tilapia and then like a paprika, parmesan encrusted type of tilapia. It's a long break from tilapia, um, to be honest with you, and I learned that it wasn't like the super best fish for you, but you know what, I'm trying to stay away from red meat, so this is um, much better for me versus like a red meat, so I got a huge pack of it, and I'm super excited to share some of those recipes with you guys that I have for the tilapia. I love salmon, so I got a huge bag of that from Walmart. And then the last meat item that I got is chicken breasts, and I got a large bag of chicken breasts. And definitely, now that I'm looking at it, I would say this is closer to three, week, three weeks worth of meat for sure. All right, now I'm going to zoom you back out. I'm going to bring you over here. Um, now that you've kind of seen like the basis for all of our meals, which is the meat, um, I'm gonna go through the rest of these groceries with you. Oh, there's just so many. Okay, let's go through them really quick. I have um, sugar-free coffee mate for my coffee, a double pack of butter. I actually have two jars of pizza sauce that I got um, for those pizzas that I was talking about. Riker loves cottage cheese, so I got a thing of cottage cheese for him for breakfast in the morning and for lunches. I also got him some go-go squeezes because these are so nice to give him for like a snack after he has nap time. I purchased a couple of um, of these like pouches of rice pilaf with orzo pasta. Um, I wanted just orzo pasta, but I couldn't find it at Walmart. So I just got this, um, like whatever this mix and Mike actually had a whole bag of this for lunch. Um, and he said it was super good. I have these for like sides to the salmon and tilapia cause I like to have rice on the side of my fish. Um, and then here's my zucchini that I got for um, zucchini noodle spaghetti. And this is really good on the grill as well. You just slice them in half and grill them. They're really good. 
Um, I got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I wanted to get oat milk, but my Walmart does not have oat milk. So that is one thing I'm going to have to go to Target likely for, which is um, just down the road from me. So I'm just gonna run to Target and grab some oat milk. But almond milk is a really good alternative and I wanted to show you guys that in this Walmart haul. Um, we have two bags of pop chips. Mike already got into these, so these were just opened. He just came here for lunch, so. Um, I got a bag of the barbecue, and then also a bag of the sea salt pop chips. We have caramel rice cakes for snacks for the kids. I was trying to get some healthier snacks this time, so I got several different kinds of rice cakes. I got caramel, I also got white cheddar, um, and then I also got an apple cinnamon. The apple cinnamon and the caramel will mostly be for the kids. Um, the white cheddar is totally my jam. So, um, just a few healthy snacks for the kiddos. Um, I've got some, we've got romaine lettuce. I got some light laughing cow um, cheese and also got some wheat thins to go along with that for snacking. I got some mushrooms for stuffed mushrooms or sauteed mushrooms on the side of one of our meals. I love stuffed mushrooms. Um, this is the espresso coffee that I get and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Um, I like to just add a little bit of this coffee creamer um, or almond milk. I'm not crazy about almond milk in my coffee, but I'm trying to like it a little bit more. I've tried for years, but um, I will use either one of these. Um, this one's a sugar-free vanilla, and this is an unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, I got some strawberries for the kids, and we usually have to eat these within the first couple of days because the produce at Walmart, or the fruit at Walmart anyways, um, especially the strawberries, goes bad rather quickly. Um, I got a box of popcorn for snacks for the kids. Kai and Riker love Pop Secret, and this is the best one. I love the movie theater butter. Mike also got into these. Um, string cheeses, I got the light. Um, just because on Weight Watchers, the light version of like cheese is a little less in points. So I got string cheese. The, kid, the kids love these as well. These are mostly for the kids, but um, Mike will eat them, and I, I will occasionally eat them. I got um, mini Baby Bell light cheeses. This is a 10 pack. Um, Mike also had one of these for lunch. He was an absolute savage today at lunch. He just like swept through all of my groceries and like just snacked on stuff. Um, and then I got some Go Go Squeeze yogurts for the kids. The, those are mostly for Riker. Um, I got some baby arugula. I love a good arugula salad with balsamic glaze on it. Super good. Um, and it's fairly low in points when I use the balsamic glaze. I got a mega pack of provolone because this is what we use to make our pizzas. We don't use mozzarella or like a shredded cheese. We actually will use sliced provolone. Um, I've got some broccoli florets for um, roasting in the oven. That's like one of my favorite things is roasted broccoli. Uh, this bag of green peppers that's falling apart. Um, I like to have like fajitas or um, like cut up for omelets or just so many things. I love green peppers. Um, I have got a big bag of yellow onions because I use these in a lot of my cooking. I'll dice them up with like potatoes or put them in a soup. I just, I use them for everything. They're super awesome. I got some lemons because I wanted to do some um, lemons on top of my fish. And Mike actually just got back from a fishing trip. So we've got some fresh fish from the lakes here in Minnesota. Um, and I wanted to put a little bit of lemon on top of those with some butter, super good. Um, I got two packages of green beans. I will likely freeze one of these. I have frozen these before. Um, and they turn out pretty good, but I will likely freeze one of these just to make sure that they stay nicely. Um, back here, I've got a loaf of bread for the kids, which is the Sara Lee, and then I also have a lighter version, um, this Delightful, which the kids will likely eat as well, but I just got an option, because once in a while, I like to give myself a cheat. I try not to have um, gluten. I am trying to stay away from gluten entirely in my anti-inflammatory diet, um, but this one is, um, it's a decent bread. It's lighter. It, like, you have to be careful when you toast it, because it gets ultra like crunchy um, I do like avocado toast quite a bit it's so good um, but this one has no high fructose corn syrup three grams of fiber and it's only 45 calories per slice 
Um, behind these rice cakes, I have a bag of Roma tomatoes. These are my favorite tomatoes. Roma tomatoes and beef steak tomatoes are my favorite. And these I use for so many things I'll do. You guys have seen it, like my chicken breast on romaine lettuce leaves. Um, that's like one of my go-to meals. I'll put like a tablespoon of mayo and a couple tomatoes and call it good. It's so good. Um, and then I've got some carrots because I'm actually going to try and make a um, somewhat vegan um, nacho cheese. And then I have... Um, I've got a big bag of shredded cheese for the family. This is one of our like go-to's. We use this all the time, like for every meal. I try not to use as much of this, but um, I do still need to get cheese for in the house for everybody else. These acai bowls from Dole. Um, and it has fruit and granola. We'll see how good it is. I wanted actual like acai like frozen packets um, So that I could do some acai bowls myself and make them myself, but these will do these are fine um, I've got a lot of recipes for some good smoothies coming out for you guys um, In the next video where I show you all the recipes and the points from this grocery haul So I'm super excited, but um, these are just like for quick snacks. They were three dollars each um, So they were a little bit more expensive, but I'm excited to try them um, Always I get frozen vegetables I have just got three bags of frozen broccoli here and then a couple of bags of frozen cauliflower I've got a ton of bananas um, sitting on top, which are not quite ripe yet, but um, I get a ton of bananas because I like to do those banana muffins, and the kids like to eat bananas with like almost every meal. So moving to the front here a little bit, um, I've got, this is our favorite bouillon. I usually get this at, co at Costco because it's like $5.99 for a massive thing. This is like $3.99 for this tiny little guy at Walmart. So that's one thing that I would recommend getting at Costco versus at Walmart. But this is our favorite bouillon in, or like chicken base or chicken stock. It just tastes so yummy. Um, and you can add it to tons of things. You can even add it to like rice, things like that. But always have this on hand in my house. Um, I am doing a recipe that calls for soy sauce. So I have a less sodium soy sauce here. Um, I believe that was for one of the salmon recipes. Um, we encrust a lot of things now with Parmesan after my sister-in-law turned us on to it. And it gets so like nice and crunchy and still feels like it, like things are like unhealthy for you, but it's actually not that bad. So um, we got a big, huge container of shredded Parmesan cheese. Um, and then I got a thing of petite diced tomatoes. Mike calls me these petty diced tomatoes. It's so funny to me. Um, but I got these for a taco soup. Paprika, because we were running low on our paprika, but we use this all the time. Um, mushrooms, and this is for one of the pizzas that we're making. Um, we got canned mushrooms for that. Um, I did get like four cans of whole kernel corn um, and a ton of fresh corn on the cob. I actually have like two bags of fresh corn on the cob here. Um, these are all for recipes. I've got like a taco soup um, and I just like to keep these on hand. And I noticed that in my pantry underneath here, I didn't have any um, corn can or canned corn left. So I got a little bit more of that. All right, and then sriracha. I got a big thing of sriracha um, because we like to have this on a lot of things. This last for a long time in the fridge and I really like creamy sriracha shrimp and um, tilapia and things like that so that is why we have a huge thing of sriracha um, I got fresh cilantro I love fresh cilantro I feel like I'm saying that about all my groceries I love it I love it um, but I really do I love um, fresh cilantro cut up with some tomatoes um, I'm going to use this and rice and on a couple of my um, salmon recipes I got a huge thing of blueberries because the kids love blueberries. It's like a massive giant thing of them for the kids' lunches and breakfasts. Um, and then I have like a grape cutter and I will cut these up still for Riker just because they are a little bit too big for him to chew up. Underneath all of this corn here, if I can get to it, 
All right, so these are the pizza crusts that we use. Um, this is the Cala Power uh, Live Life on the Veg. Two cauliflower pizza crusts because I cannot be bothered to try and make them on my own. <laughs> it's so hard, I cannot master it. So anyway, I really like these cauliflower pizza crusts and we're going to do a sausage, mushroom, and green olive on one. It's, we call it the Taylor Family Special, which is like my side of the family, it's so good. Um, and then the other pizza we're going to do just pepperoni, that turkey pepperoni for the kids. I got some um, frozen pineapple chunks because I'm going to be doing some um, smoothie bowls this week. I love pineapple in my smoothies. Got some tortilla chips because this is a standard in our house. And along, along with this skinny pop, um, this is the sharing size. This is something else I would recommend that you get from Costco because this bag was like $3.83 and I can get a $4.99 bag for triple the size. It's like a giant, giant bag from Costco. But I will likely hoard this for myself. I'll hide it from the kids. They can have the pop secret and then I will have the skinny pop. I got spinach for smoothies and I'm gonna going to try and incorporate this into some of the kids' smoothies as well for more greens. Um, Lucky Charms is a staple in our house um, with little grabby fingers. Um, Riker is... Riker loves Lucky Charms. I know they're not the super healthiest, but that is fine. That is fine. They can still be kids and have cereal. So I got him some Lucky Charms. Um, and then I just got two things of tortillas. Um, the kids like regular tortillas. I like the gluten-free um, mission, like corn tortillas. And they also have a gluten-free version of like more of the flour style tortilla, which I've got a couple left in my fridge. Um, but those are really good as well. And the last few things that I got are actually on my other counter because I didn't have room, but I got a bag of navel oranges because Riker has these every morning with his breakfast. You can totally slam one of these oranges in like a minute. He loves them so much. Oh my gosh, Mike, look, he like left so much garbage on the counter from his lunch break. What the heck? Um, all right, and then I have potatoes. I've got russet potatoes. And then I also have some red potatoes because I like to use um, different kinds of potatoes for different recipes. I got some lime for like limes for cilantro lime rice and I really like these like in my adult beverages. They're so good. Um, last but not least, we got some whole milk for Riker. We will be switching him over to oat milk very soon, but um, this whole milk is pretty much just for Riker.
face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor All right, you guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this more relaxed, styled, clean with me, daily tidy up, along with my grocery haul and how I budget and plan for my meals for two to three increments. I really, really enjoyed making this video for you guys. If you are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel before you leave. I make lots of mom style content, cleaning motivation here on my channel. And you guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, okay? Bye, you guys.